evening and thank you for joining us. The new school year, if you can believe it, is less than a month away for Hawaii's public schools. Just turned summer, but like everything else, school supplies are becoming more and more expensive. Relief, though, for some is on the way for many. Christy Thomas here with a story tonight that's new at night. Inflation and shipping costs are driving up the prices for almost everything, including school supplies. Based off the Na'alehu Elementary School Supply List, lawmakers found the average cost for supplies by grade are $4,400 for a first grade class, $1,600 for a second grade class, and $3,600 for third grade. Parents are seeing costs mounting as well. Oh, well, the last time I went in to buy a pad of legal paper, it costs, I think, you know, 4 or $5 versus what it would normally cost for a pack of five. But thanks to a new law, the burden of buying school supplies will be taken off family shoulders. The school supply subsidy pilot program is set for the school year with 20 public elementary schools, Na'alehu, Pahoa, Wainai, Palolo, and Aiea Elementary, to name a few. It's really the start of just gathering um, more data and opportunities to see how this can help. But the goal is to make sure that our most disadvantaged have the tools they need to succeed. The law appropriates over $800,000 to the DOE for school supplies. Kamaili Academy already notifying parents that they do not need to purchase any supplies. Keiki advocates call this a big win for struggling families. We know that these are difficult times in our community, and we know that families in many ways are bearing the hardest burden. Families can then use that money to pay rent, to um, put food on the table, etc. At the end of the school supply subsidy pilot program, lawmakers will see if they can expand the expiration date or the program as a whole. Teachers at other public schools say it's something that's much needed. Once supplies run out during the school year, teachers say they often pay out of pocket. Over the years, I've definitely spent you know, um, a fair share of money on school supplies and eventually it just got to be too much. Lawmakers are hopeful they'll be able to expand to other schools in the near future. They say this is just the beginning in providing for Hawaii's keiki. Here are barriers to education and we're looking at all the ways that we can remove those barriers and moving forward as we transform education. Chrissy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.